Good morning. Today is October 9th, 2022, and I'm very excited to share this game with you. This is a very interesting game. It's not a 99% accurate by computer score by any means, but it is has but it has the most exciting combo that I have not seen for a long time. There's a six move combo and there's a five move combo uh, or six, six or seven depending on how you look at it. And I think this is really interesting. Instead of the usual puzzles, I'm just gonna go examine these two combos and go it move by move and see if you can guess my next moves over here in this game. Anyway, let's begin. The opening is Sicilian defense, modern variation, probably because this is the modern variation here. Over here, so that's pretty unique variation, right? But in fact, this structure over here, this structure over here is pretty common. The next thing I will do is I will move castle here and it will be the traditional King Indian attack. Except the black has castle king side. So I decided, well, what the heck, let's just attack uh, the king there. And what that's going to happen is this becomes a, a pawn rush over here. So attack into the king, which is my favorite strategy, by the way. So this is really nice. So anyway, let's continue. This is quite common as well. Basically, once the king is at this point over here, king will have to spend an extra move over here and then put an extra move. So this is kind of like a, a missing tempo, so, so to speak. Even though I'm white, I'm spending an extra tempo to shore up my defense. Next move. So there was a surprise attack over here. The king has just been pushed to the corner over there. Now, uh, the evaluation is 0 0.6. So, you know, it's not bad for black. I'm just doing it to annoy black. Next move. This is a, a more aggressive move that's basically starting to open up the position. Over here, the pawns are really strong, right? But what? Now, my pawn here is really weak. So you can tell over here, set up press. By doing it this way, over here, suddenly all the pawns are in their files. So that's, you know, that's a way to do it. And as expected, I've just developed uh, my pawns. Uh, the weakness here is gone. The strength point is gone. And Bishop Black just wasted the tempo. Next move. Start attacking the king over there. And this is just a defensive move, basically. That's a really aggressive move over here. It doesn't look much, does it? I mean, if you look at the squares that the knight can go, it's basically covered, right? So this is very interesting now. This one over here is trying to kick back the knight, but what happens is this become a weakness over here. So let's see what happens. And this is the beginning of the combo. Actually, that was the beginning of the combo right here. But this is the very beginning of the plan of the combo. So that's one. 
and so that's a check so right so that's one. pretty much rook cannot take the knight because queen takes rook so move and move number two and this is uh, rook f3 and you can tell over here from the <laughs> evaluation minus six yeah obviously this is not one of those perfect game but it's very interesting that I choose to do so because as you can tell over here uh, bishop can just fork the queen and knight basically so like why would I do this why would I put over here and sure enough that's what black did which is fork now this is where I put in the question how would you solve this problem all right so let's think let's see what happens over here this is the move I chose to do remember the evaluation is minus five check no, normally when uh, normally when a piece is being in danger and captured they would try to take the pawns over here take the pawns so I choose not to take any pawns I choose to make the check so that's interesting over there and black has to capture this because the knight is endangering in in, in this bishop so that's a force capture either by bishop or by pawn and that's a check so this is force right yes I just took uh, another uh, bishop with my knight and of course it has a pawn over there so natural recapture over here and minus five so evaluation is still the same And this is what I did. Check. And minus five. Evaluation is still the same. Minus four. And at the end of it, over here, I moved the queen out of danger. And the queen was in price for the whole time. Basically, for the whole time, the queen was in price and that did not get to capture the queen. So this is very interesting. Very, very, very nice. Tension was building up, and at this point, I can feel like Black was inching to take the queen, but cannot do so. So anyway, next move. Well, having failed to do that, and having posted the bishop in a strong position here, Black decided to attack the king, which is one way to do it, I suppose. But I have gained uh, my goal of getting this file open and as you can see the evaluation has now become minus four so I'm getting better not quite there yet but I'm getting better and that's very scary pawn right very scary pawn over here yeah, double up on the rank and this is the start of the next combo next combo over here so the queen is in press over here uh, I mean the pawn is threatened for the queen so obviously the queen has to move right well let's delay moving the queen a little bit like, I, I don't care about the king the queen right so this is where tactics is very important you have to have a good ability to compute tactical considerations very very quickly and I'm faster than before but mostly it's counting squares not counting pieces I'm counting squares so mostly it's like pattern recognition so you can solve several situations certain position both ways you can solve it tactically or you can solve it positionally and if I can solve it positionally I would rather solve it positionally so this is one of those things And lo and behold, the very strong pawn move, this very really scary pawn move becomes a blunder. Because, yes, it's very natural move over there for black to, move, to make. 
and yet our the window came. <laughs> yep, that's what I did. If you are black, will you take the queen? No, uh, you wouldn't because then I certain met a certain mate over here, and the king would be missed. So the king has to go somewhere over here because the square is taken. So king has to go somewhere over here, and that means. The rook has to go somewhere, but the rook cannot go this way because then the rook just go meet it, so it has to do something about it. So, check. Of course, I'll take it. And now, now I have two choices over here. I can go here, check. I can move there. And the rook will take the queen. And then the other bishop uh, take the queen or rook take the uh, bishop took the rook or uh, <coughs> uh, rook take. Let me just show it to you right here. Check. And maybe this way over here. Or maybe this way over here. So that's one way to do it. So that's one way to do it. But of course, I did not do that. I did this one right here. So, let's check. Uh, the bishop cannot block over here. Block cannot block over here. That's just made. And if the king of either here or here, well, this is made. And this is, well, basically, same thing as before, so the king move over here, king move over there. Now the queen cannot do check here because it will just be taken uh, up by uh, the bishop. So what I need to do is I need to get rid of the bishop. There you go. Bishop take bishop and it's made into. My next move. Check. And at this point, black resign. Because that's a mid in one. Not here. And it's really interesting. I wonder what happened if, you know, I do not do mid in one. What if I just bishop with the rook, can it do anything? Well, yes, black can do something right here. And move, move here, basically. Right here. Okay. Uh, basically, it's going to be a very long process over here. But I would go this way, because black is It doesn't really matter now, does it? And then followed by this point moving out to promotion. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.